Dear Diary, Today I learned how to make lamp. I have always had such love and appreciation for lamp, and to have finally created some of my own is such a thrill. My partner thought it was ridiculous, and honestly, I thought it was too. To create lamp out of thin air using only my thoughts? I tried and tried for hours, but I couldn't. I had read the forum post about other moths that have mastered the power of lamp and tried one last time, and I did it. I created lamp. It was only a piece of paper, and I ended up scorching the sink pretty badly. But my partner wasn't mad. They were so happy. They were so proud of me. They're now encouraging me to continue mastering my newfound lamp powers. I'm so excited to see where this takes me. Maybe I can get everyone to appreciate lamp like I do. Dear Diary, Today, I held lamp in my hand. I twirled it around my fingers like you would a pen. Usually when I get too close to lamp, it ouches, but not this time. It was warm and comforting, like a hug. Maybe my lamp is special and only warms people up instead of ouching. Now everyone can feel the warmth and love like I do. I've tried to convince my partner to pick up lamp powers like I have, but they say it's too scary for them. I don't understand this. What's scary about lamp? Lamp is warmth and love, not a big and scary monster. I'm trying to work on passing lamp between my hands, but the wind keeps blowing my lamp out. I'm proud of how far I've come in such a short amount of time, and I'm sure I'll be able to do that eventually. Dear Diary, my partner cooked inside again. They said that I keep making too big of a lamp to cook food. I know that I shouldn't get so excited, but I always want to make bigger and bigger lamp. They said they're worried about it escaping the grill and getting out onto the lawn. But would that really be so bad? Making a big lamp would be lovely. Seeing all the grass and bushes get engulfed by lamp would be beautiful, would it not? They're so silly sometimes. I hope they never find this out, but the reason why their potted plants keep going missing is because I keep turning them into lamps. They're so pretty when they light up like that, though they never last very long. Not much material to make a long living lamp. I know they'd be mad at me, so I throw them away and say that maybe someone stole it. Thankfully, they have always believed me. Dear Diary, I made a little bit of an oopsie. Well, everyone got mad at me, so I think it was an oopsie. We went over to a friend's house, and I was so proud and wanted to show off my new lamp powers to them. I twirled the fire around my hands and passed it around between my hands like a little lamp ball. I offered to hand it to them so they could hold it, but they looked scared when I did that. I still don't understand why everyone is so afraid of lamp. No one loves lamp as much as I do. Anyway, I was trying to juggle lamp balls because that's what I've been practicing lately, and I dropped one onto the lawn and it caught up into a big lamp. All the grass and bushes turned into one big lamp. I didn't realize I could make something so beautiful. But they didn't think so. They ran screaming and called the anti-lampers to put my beautiful lamp out. Everyone was so mad at me. I've been crying my eyes out ever since we got home. Why does everyone hate me and lamp so much? I just wanted to show the world the beauty. I did them a favor by making such a large lamp for them. But no, they don't like lamp. They hate lamp. Dear Diary, I'm alone in my house right now. My partner left for the night. We got into a big fight. They said that I'm getting dangerous to myself and others. They said that I love lamp too much. How could I love lamp too much? That's ridiculous. It's like loving chocolate too much. It's pure, sweet, wholesome. They said they wanted me to be put in a hospital to treat me, treat my brain. 
They think my brain is broken. I don't understand. I'm scared they're going to take me away. Try to get rid of my lamp powers. I can't live without lamp. And lamp cannot live without me. I'm going to run away so they can't find me. I'll start creating lamps everywhere and let the whole world know the true meaning of lamps. I'm unique and special, and they'll know it's me. But still, I have to be careful. The men in white and anti-lampers will be after me. Dear Diary, I think I've been found. I'm scared. This might be my last entry. They're going to take me away. I hear sirens. I see lights outside. I'm scared. I don't want them to... Do you have any idea how much damage you've caused? How many lives you've hurt due to your actions? You really don't get it, do you? You really don't understand that the world doesn't need your fire. The world doesn't want your fire. Fire is destructive, not helpful. You're going to be taken away for a long time, you know that? Hopefully they'll be able to knock some sense into you. Get the anti-lamp... anti-fire cuffs. Can't have her lighting this place up, too. I got a fever, and the only cure is more lamp. <laughs> <laughs>